What's bomb people? Zinx here bringing you another vlog and this is kind of like the third one I'd say. We had the original one, the one that started it off, where we rode the ATV and kind of just screwed around in some deep snow. And then we had the Christmas one and now we have kind of like a different, you know, different thing going on. And uh, today we are going to be installing some lights on a snowmobile, like some LEDs. So it's going to be really, really cool. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys along and you know see see what we get so basically i'm in the car right now and uh we're gonna be over there in just a few seconds and just watch Just a little quick thing in case you haven't noticed. The road is absolutely horrible. Looks like they have not gotten out and plowed and I am losing control right now. This is terrible. If you can see the road, there are tracks everywhere of people swerving and everything. This is crazy. There has got to be a layer of ice in here. Look at those tracks right there. Thank God I have a good car for in the snow. If not, I'd be screwed. Someone was skirting about just all over the place. That's crazy. All you're going to need to do this is some uh, wire cutters, just regular uh, electrical tape, uh, epoxy, a few ton epoxy, because um, you need to put the lights up on the front, or if, whatever you're doing this with. I would recommend a popsicle stick also. That's right, a, to mix that's the thing. epoxy with and somewhere to put it. Just a knife, a duct tape, and some wire caps or any other way to join wire. I used wire caps because that's what I had. Welcome to Jerry Rigging LEDs. To, to a, a snowmobile. 90s snowmobile. <laughs> It'll kind of look like a Ferrari now. You know how they have, or that Lamborghinis have the headlights like this? Exactly. A nice jagged light. Yeah. You see, it'll be like, people will see that and they'll be like, dang, that guy knows what's up. Where should I connect them? This is like kind of the final. Yeah. Like somewhere right here. in that area. You just kind of want to. We have 30 minutes to set it, so if we need to adjust it, we can adjust yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like once you push, put pressure on it, it kind of. Why is it? This? Yeah, it had sticky tape on it, but it wasn't. It's like just like a crappy version of 3M tape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to scrape all this extra excess off. Sealant. We can, it can be sealant. sealant. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what some people do. They use it as sealant. Yeah, it's great. It was, once it's just on, it doesn't sure. come off. Just make sure you don't have it. Oh, well. This thing will definitely... Remember we raced. And yeah, this but we were on it. snow and well, on this no traction. This only goes on snow, so... Exactly. Mine's not made for snow. It has tracks. Tracks are always better than wheels. Dude, I saw this video on Instagram of this guy with his big F-350 was pulling, like, three cars through, like, the Arctic, uh, like, through the Arctic, and he had tracks on it, dude. Oh, my God. Tracks on an F... Oh, I've seen that. It's kind of like the tracks you can get on four-wheelers, mm -hmm. but for Well, yeah they're, yeah, they're basically the same thing. Wow. Well, I couldn't imagine how expensive they'd have to be on a truck. I know they're like one grand a piece for snowmobiles. Or uh, for a, I heard there was a kit for like 10 grand, but I don't know if that was like true. That's still really expensive. I would fill in this right here. I would fill that in with some just to make sure you don't want it to uh, yeah. separate there in the corner. Clean it off. You have that rag still? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> make it like that. Oh, I get to it. I get to me. Yeah. There's little cutouts here and there. Yeah, just little scenery shots. And mm -hmm. stuff. That's exactly what. That's exactly what you want to do. With a, with a blog. It's a vlog, not a blog. Whatever. <laughs> Hmm. See, this is kind of thick. You know what they need to have? I need to get one of those, like, a medical syringe so I can just apply this, like, really, really well. Yeah, it probably doesn't help that it's freezing out. Yeah. It, it does. It's harder when it freezes. Mm -hmm. You want it warm. I need to make a little bit more to not make as much as I thought I did. Oh, 
I wish the lights themselves looked a little cleaner. Eh, I mean, they're so like, um, like so flush with it that it's like even it's like so hard to like yeah. notice. It's not like it's like really like like as big as like a light bar or something that yeah. like sticks out. I don't even know if LEDs were invented by the time this, when the snowmobile came out. Hmm, that's a good question. I wonder when the LEDs were invented. 1962. Huh, well I guess they were. <laughs> oh my see, god. You don't see them around. Oh wait, no, wait, invented in 1927, 1961, 1962? Yeah, this probably some came with the, with the trans or transistor. You never used to see them in old cars and stuff, though. Yeah, probably because they just were too expensive, or yeah, they just weren't like. Now you can make them super cheap. You see them everywhere now. Because of China. China does everything cheap. Yep. Well, that's why America buys everything from China. And that's why a war between China and America would be bad. Is we'd be fucked without China. Huh? No, China would be fucked without us buying their shit. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, that is a valid point, yeah. Look at that. I think this, I just need it really... You know how your nose drips when it gets cold? I hate that. You know why? Why? Because, uh... I saw it on YouTube actually. <laughs> blood like drains to your, uh, or like fills up your, or like pushes against your mucus glands to keep your nose warm. Really? Yeah. That's separating right there. Heads up. Yeah. Don't pull too much. Yeah, you want to pull up. Oh. Where'd my top go? Right here. That's right. cold start? Yeah. <laughs> How long has it been since it started? Uh, about a month. So I don't know which one, since it's like such an old snowmobile, it's uh, I don't know which, these are the, this is the headlight, and I want to wire it into the headlights. And I know the, I know when you turn the high beams on, you have this little thing right here on the console, uh, which lights up, and you have this also wire, which is the same as this wire that comes up to the console. So I'm thinking that um, the white usually is ground, and I'm saying this is the high beams. If not, we can cut the uh, brown wire, which I think is the low beams too, mm -hmm. but. Uh, we can always attach it. The problem is, is I don't really don't have that much playroom in here. I'm gonna cut this. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut that. Yeah, yeah I have some more. Uh, I don't think the... you're gonna have to cut the second one, but. No. Yeah. But um, yeah, and I'll cut the little tube there. <sighs> when in doubt, just cut everything. What's the old saying? Measure twice, cut one. Oh my God, these are shit scissors. <laughs> All right. Well, now we got those out. Is that a little loop right there? What's that yellow wire doing there? Uh, I think it's a. Uh, I don't know. It just loops right back in. Maybe it's a fuse? I'm not sure. Interesting. I need to get this off. I'm gonna get Whoa, careful. You don't need to cut yourself. Actually, I don't want to trim one of the wires. Rip it then. Or peel it. This is like, it's thick. It's harder than it looks, this rubber. Really? Or are you just gonna cover this with a 
electrical tape. Yeah. The only reason it's covered is it so they don't get separated and mess mm -hmm. something up with the engine. Yep, yep. And so water doesn't get in them because water comes in through these. Uh, yeah, as we snow. as we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This engine smokes like crazy because of all the. Same with any of yeah. our ATVs when we go into the deep water, water yeah. etc. Thing is, is always in snow. There, there we, we go. go. And perfect. Perfect. All right, here's a moment of truth. Can't go back after this. Saying this is the high beams. This is ground. Oh yeah, this is ground. You can tell. Actually, actually yeah. I'll just strip them. Size 14. Not size 12. Maybe size 14. Yeah, look at that. There we go, perfect. So, there we go. Did you not fully get it? Alright. Now we got them separated. Perfect. Careful that, yeah, don't, there we go. Yep, perfect. That all the so pretty much what we did is just uh, hooked up the, uh, the LED strips to the wires and I'll just pull start it to see what the al alternator does. It won't start because I don't think it has any gas. But, um... Just kind of like a little test to see if they much. are on. Ooh, yep. That's sick, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I hope uh, it's a steady flow when we're trying to get it to start, but yeah, look at that. You can, it flashes all over. Yeah. The, uh, got some, that's actually sick though. All right, well, get Let's it started. Let's patch it up. Yep. Was this a 16 or a, I think it was a 16? Uh, I think it was the 14. Okay. Yeah, it was the 14. But I think, all right, hold up. Yeah, this is on 14. Oh, lost a little bit of copper yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's what happened in the last one. I noticed. Basically, you just screw it in. Yep. There we go. There's one. <laughs> so it's a day later, pretty much. We got um, the LEDs working and attached to the light. Um, what I did is that, as you see, this is the normal one. This has got a lot more slack, so I cut off a lot of the slack. So I needed to pull this whole wire up a little bit. Um, so it should uh, work. So pretty much what I'm gonna do now is just gonna tape this, these wires to get rid of the slack so it doesn't get caught up in the engine. And um, probably it's cold outside, it's like 10 degrees. So I'm gonna run a lighter over um, the um, tape, the cell light regular electrical tape, because once it gets cold, it gets brittle. And I don't want, this is an air intake for, and snow comes in the air intake. So I don't want um, the snow to get on this stuff. So. I'll tighten this up a little bit more. And uh, yep, yeah, you want a lot of uh, duct tape on it because this is a thin wire and it gets hot in here. And since it's liquid cooled you, or uh, air cooled, you get snow coming in here as well as uh, air. And that can, you just want everything being covered. It's a little rigged as you can see. Uh, I don't know if I knew how to work things any better and do electrical any better, I would have done it any other way, but this is what I figured out. I mean, this is like, it's not a purpose thing. This is like something that is made for definitely not this purpose at all. Would you consider us the first ones to ever do something like this? Put uh, LEDs on a like, old snowmobile? Like these are LEDs probably for like someone's desk or something. <laughs> or for like a computer. They're advertised for like a truck. 
I mean, yeah, they're very small. So, I mean, you could probably put these on and the interior powerful, of your truck. And they're 12 volt. I don't know. I would, um, I've never seen LEDs on a snowmobile. I've but... never seen this style, yeah. Like, this style, like. I don't know. I wouldn't do this on a brand new snowmobile for sure. No. But since it's old, so old, I don't really care about how it looks. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep it, but. It's just a cool kind of little, like, show. Just thing to see to... if I can do it, you know? Yeah. This is basically a test. If this fails, I'm sorry. <laughs> we we don't know how I, it's going to end. Just the way it idle, or when we pull start it, they flash. I really hope they just don't constantly flash, or else I'm just going to cut these things, and it's a waste of an hour. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just, I'm still going to post the video anyways, even if it doesn't work properly. It's it's still a really cool thing. Right. For sure. Well, we're going to start this. Let's see how it works. So, uh, yeah, here we go. This is basically everything, as you guys can see, the wiring, how we have it all set up, and all of that. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. 